Guys, did you just see that? They just announced Infinite for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate as DLC! Oh my god, this is probably the best day of my entire life. I can't believe it. I did not think they'd add another Sonic character, but they just did. Infinite from Sonic Forces. Sonic Forces. Oh my god, I'm actually so excited. Oh my god. <gasps> Wait. What do you mean this isn't real? What do you mean I'm making all this up? Guys, didn't you just see it? It was right there. How could you possibly deny that evidence? You think I'm dreaming? Well, if I was dreaming, which I don't think I am, Pinch myself should wake myself up, shouldn't it? So let's do it. Three, two, one. Damn it! Screw this. I'm going back to sleep. Uh, infinite, you will be mine soon. Don't you worry. We've got the announcement that there's going to be five DLC characters for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. We all knew this. It was in the Nintendo Direct. Obvious, but recently we got the news of who decided on these DLC characters and that they're finally finished. So who decided the characters? Nintendo. Nintendo decided the entire characters. Not Sakurai, not the Smash team, just general core Nintendo. So I'm quite conflicted on this. I don't know what to think. I don't know what kind of characters we're going to get now. Because before I had some pretty safe assumptions if Sakurai was going to be choosing Mainly the characters for the game. That's out the window. That's totally out the window and it could kill some characters. It could also bring some new characters to light. Let's discuss it. I'm really in shock. So this is one character that I have been definitely rooting for and I definitely believe was in the game. And that was Gino. I really thought Gino was in the game. He's probably the most highly requested character in Smash history, at least since Brawl anyways, as far as I know, since Super Smash Bros. Brawl, is he gonna even come anymore? Because I don't know how in touch Nintendo are with these kinds of things. Do Nintendo know that people really want Geno to be in Smash? Or do they even remember Geno? <laughs> do they even remember Geno? They got rid of him in Mario Luigi Superstar Saga on the 3DS, so who knows? It's quite worrying, quite concerning. So Nintendo, <clears throat> please, if, if you want to please the fans, because Gino is an absolute crowd pleaser, he's the highly requested character that I really thought was going to be announced for Smash Ultimate before release, but I was wrong as far as you know, I was completely wrong. So, Nintendo, if you really want to please the fans, you do Gino. Easy. Simple. But, because it's Nintendo, how are they going to choose the characters? Are they going to choose the characters just because they're cool, what pleases the fans the most, or are they going to go and try and promote their newest games? and add characters from these newest games. If they go that route, I'm going to be quite concerned. Let's talk about a certain franchise that seems to always get representation in Smash, no matter of the game. Fire Emblem. So, back in Super Smash Bros for Wii U and 3DS, we got Karin from Fire Emblem Fates before it was even released everywhere except for Japan. We got Karin, we didn't even know who he was. He's actually a cool character, don't get me wrong, I think he's Playstyle, he's got that long sword thingy, he turns into a damn dragon. That's badass, that's actually kind of cool. I actually think he's a really cool character in the game, but it doesn't hide the fact he was added to promote the new Fire Emblem. And when Smash characters are solely there to promote a new game, that's when I don't feel too good about it. I mean, there's still potential. If there's a really, really badass character in an upcoming game, go ahead. If the character is just a really lame character that you you are purely putting in the game to promote that game. I don't like it. Honestly, I don't like that and I'm really worried that there's an upcoming Fire Emblem game called Fire Emblem Three Houses and that they're going to add another character from that game. They're going to add a Fire Emblem character from that game just to promote it because I feel like that's coming out in spring-ish. And I feel like that's when they would coincide the DLC. They'll literally probably release the DLC, release the game at the same time frame. That concerns me, and I get it, Fire Emblem's a big franchise, so I get it guys, I do get it if they want to put more Fire Emblem in the game. But number one, of course, we have too many Fire Emblem characters, in my honest opinion, and number two, I think it's too safe, it's too ordinary. It's what people expect, and if you just give it to them, I think that's kind of lame. Now, of course, you can still add a character, and they're still really fun, they're still really cool, but it doesn't really hide the motif that you're using smash to promote a new game which i just don't think it's the best idea ever i mean i get it from a marketable standpoint i get it 
but it just doesn't sit well with me, and that's just honestly, that's just my opinion, guys. I don't know if you agree with me or not. That's just how I feel about this whole situation. So I think Fire Emblem is a sure thing. In fact, there is a rumor going around that Piranha Plant was decided by Nintendo themselves, which I could totally see. I mean, I actually kind of like the Piranha Plant. I haven't touched on this yet. I think his playstyle, he's really stretchy. He's got so much range. He actually looks so really cool. Plus, Peter Piranha, Super Mario Sunshine representation. That game. It's the best game ever. <laughs> That's the best game ever, in my opinion. That's my favorite game of all time. But we've got that character. And that means we've got four more. Now, Sonic fans, if you're watching this video, a lot of my subscribers are Sonic fans, so hello. Don't expect Sonic. Honestly, if Nintendo's deciding the characters, I would highly, highly suggest to forget Shadow, forget Tails, forget Infinite or Knuckles or anyone. Forget them, because it's not happening. I'm really sorry to break the hard truth to you all. It ain't coming. It's never coming. I will eat my own words if Tails happens to come to Smash. I will eat them because I would love Tails and Smash, but it's not gonna happen. I'm so sorry. So third party representations is something that's really key in Smash nowadays. It's how it expands the universe. So I absolutely believe that through some of Nintendo's partnerships that they're gonna choose a third party character. Now there's two runner ups for this third party rep. There's Banjo-Kazooie, which is the one I'm absolutely rooting for and the Steve from Minecraft, which is the big rumor going on about right now. That's quite scary. I mean, Steve from Minecraft is really weird, but I mean, Minecraft is sold, I think it's 157 million copies worldwide. It's a pretty massive game. So I absolutely cannot objectify if they added Steve from Minecraft to the game. But at the same time, it's definitely not to my liking because I just he's just such a weird character. It's mainly his character design. Obviously, Minecraft is full of blocks, so he's like a really blocky character. I don't know how well that would mesh with the rest of the characters. Now, you could argue that Mr. Game Watch is literally a 2D character and he meshes in well with the 3D characters. So, I'd need to see it first. I wonder how his moveset would be. I mean, a Minecraft stage, totally, I'm totally for that. I'm actually 100% for a Minecraft type stage because it would be all about like you destroying blocks and these lava blocks coming in. I mean, it would still be like the Mario Maker stage, totally work well. So go ahead, add Minecraft stage. I'd need to see the character though before really saying anything because I just don't know how it would work, but I'm not totally against it. If you show me Steve from Minecraft and he turns out to be a super cool character, go ahead Nintendo, you've won me over. Now Banjo-Kazooie, I feel like a lot of people want Banjo-Kazooie. He's a legacy character, he's a Nintendo legacy character that is owned by Rare, which is owned by Microsoft. And Nintendo and Microsoft, they've been together, but that's why Steve from Minecraft is probably more likely. It's the rumor, it's the more popular franchise. So it's kind of worrying, but Banjo-Kazooie obviously would work really well. I mean, I feel like one of the reasons Duck Hunt was in the game was to substitute for Banjo-Kazooie, but I'm not quite sure. But that's just my opinion. We all know it by now. Banjo-Kazooie would be cool. Now, two other options I've got in my mind would be a new Zelda character and a new Mario character. Now, that might sound like boring, safe choices, but hear me out here. We had two of the most revolutionary games from their franchises recently. We had Breath of the Wild and we had Super Mario Odyssey. Breath of the Wild absolutely breaks pretty much every convention from every Zelda game ever and does something totally brand new while also going back to basics. Super Mario Odyssey goes back to that massive sandbox style 3D Mario game genre that people really fell in love with with 64. Maybe not so much Sunshine even though that's like the best game ever. But these two games are very, very popular, and they're very new, they're very different, they're very distinct, they've got distinct characters and everything. So, choice number one, Siding from Breath of the Wild. I feel like he's such, like, a unique character design. Sure, he's just another Zora, but the Zora character design in that game, well, like, it's totally different. I think he would work really well. He'd be a totally different character. I don't know a character who plays quite like him. He would have these cool fish swimming mechanics and everything. I just feel like it would work really well. His final smash can be that divine beast, or it could be Mifa doing something. It'd be pretty badass as well. And for the Mario character representative, I'm feeling Cappy, maybe, of sorts. I know Cappy's already in the game. He's got some animations, but he's not part of his attack at all. I feel like Cappy could work if he was in his base, like, ghost form. Maybe he could take control of enemies briefly to make them damage themselves. But if you if you mash the buttons, you get out of that. I feel like Cappy could work well. And I know people will be like, just another Mario character. But 
any character works as long as they're distinct enough. That's what I feel. If you can make all of these different characters, you can add Wii Fit, Piranha Plant, Game and & Watch, and they all control well and are distinct from each other, go ahead, I don't see the harm in it. Sure, it does kind of waste a slot for other characters, but if they're fun, that's really all that matters at the end of the day. And now we've got the one last character, and one last character is Square Enix. Massive rumor going around, I believe it, that there is one Square Enix representative coming to Smash. Who could this be? People were originally saying Geno, but since Nintendo are deciding these characters, since they've already decided these characters, I'm not quite sure about that. You know what I am sure about though? Final Fantasy. I feel like a Final Fantasy character is so likely and so possible that I just, I just, just the one I believe the most, honestly. So what Final Fantasy character could they add? Would they go with another Final Fantasy VII character? Would they go Final Fantasy XIII with Lightning? I feel like she's one of the most iconic characters. Or would they go with Final Fantasy XV and add one of the dudes from there? Sorry, I don't know the names. I haven't played the game. I'm so sorry. But they could do that and finally get more Final Fantasy music in the game because there's only two. We can get more Final Fantasy music and that's always a good thing because it's such a good gaming franchise when it comes to the music. So I feel like that has a lot of potential right there. I feel like it's totally possible and I totally feel like Square Enix is absolutely on the table. I mean it could also be a World End of View character, it could be Bravery Default character, it could be Octopath for all we know. I mean Octopath would be pretty weird but anything is possible my dudes. Anything is absolutely possible. So let me know what you think. What characters we're gonna get in the comment section below. I am so scared but also weirdly optimistic towards this. Having Nintendo themselves choose these characters is such a weird, bizarre idea. That could either pay off really well, or absolutely fail miserably. But there's only one way to find out, guys. And that's to wait and see, my dudes. Did I just clap to end the video?